and then Jamal Murray icing on the cake. Aaron Gordon throws it down. By the way, it was Nikola Jokic's 29th birthday last week. Was the win enough of a present for him? Your birthday was last week. These guys get you anything? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Bad teammates. Bad teammates. Terrible teammates. Terrible teammates, yeah. I mean, they can't be that terrible because look at his assist numbers, Ooh. right? He's been putting up, I don't play video games, but I would think that these are video game numbers, his last three games. You can see here three straight monster triple doubles. Overall, he joined Wilt Chamberlain as the only player with, get this, at least 80 points, 50 rebounds, and 45 assists over a three-game span. Richard, they don't hold the best record in the West, but they're still the class of the conference. Yeah, yeah when you're the defending champion, there's an, a confidence that comes. It's like, we want to be playing good basketball, not our best basketball. We understand that we have another gear that we can go to to stay with your car analogy. <laughs> and, and so for them, it's more of like, can we get healthy? Can we make sure that our base is there? We're playing good enough defense. Our offense is clicking. We have all of these little things because we know when we get to that moment, we know there's another gear that we can go to, and only champions know that. Only Hall of Famers know that. Yep. Those are spaces that the Denver Nuggets are in. They don't need to be number one. Right. They, don't, they don't need to be number one. That, that That's a luxury. But I do believe that they need to move up. They want more home court advantage. Right. That's what they need to get to. Because really, it's just the non-Jokic minutes that are still just a teeny bit iffy for Denver. But if Jamal Murray can continue you know, to playing the way that he has been, and that becomes less concerning. You mentioned uh, Hall of Famers and champions. It's a good thing that's all we have on the show today as Kendrick Perkins is joining us as well. Perk, our resident big man, what impressed you the most about Nikola Jokic last night? Well, it wasn't just it was it wasn't just Jokic. It was Jokic and Murray. And what they did was remind us in a like not in a friendly way, but in a vicious way to stop talking about Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Stop talking about Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. Stop talking about Embiid and Maxi, Giannis and Dane, and put some respect on this duo name. They're the best duo in basketball. Look, this game had the right energy. And when I say the right energy, it was playoff energy. You have Golden State that has been playing excellent basketball that are trying to move up out of the play-in tournament. And you have the Denver Nuggets who's trying to secure that number one seed in the Western Conference because you want home court throughout, because the Western Conference is so deep, and we know what home court meant to them last season. So when I saw Jokic and Murray do what they did in the first half, because them going on that 14-0 run, no one else was really playing well for the Nuggets at the time. But Jokic and Murray, all I kept hearing is, what a tough shot by Murray. What can you do when Jokic just hit you with so many crab dribbles and tomato chest you and get you to the basket? Right. And when you make someone go on a podcast like Draymond Green did and basically said Jokic gave him that work, you know he did that. Well, the Denver he didn't Nuggets. have to go on the he podcast and say that. We all watched <laughs> it. We all saw it. Come on, fuck. It's NBA, I'm here. It's NBA, I'm here.